safety. No, no, no. Are you kidding me? I couldn't script it. I couldn't script it if I wanted to. Go oh, boop. Got y'all. Just like you, minding your business, and venom springs upon your cheeks. The Sweet 16 and Elite 8 are upon us. Stakes are higher. The nerves are getting nervous. It's playoff football, March Madness style. It's about to go down for real. Hit those buttons down below because, man, when I see you guys' support, it means the world. I love doing this, and every like, subscribe, comment is like a taco. It's fueling me to keep going the extra mile. <coughs> And with that, the Sweet 16 is set. Michigan versus Air Force. Florida, Boise State. Texas, Oklahoma State. Virginia Tech, Utah. Oregon, UNLV. Miami, Maryland. Ole Miss, Georgia. Washington, Texas Tech. If you still got a dog in the fight, leave a comment. Who are you rooting for? Who's going to take it home? This is where it really gets down to the wire. First up, let's go Michigan Air Force. Air Force on that Cinderella run right now. Uh, Michigan, a couple close calls, but they have the power, the, the, the talent, the juice to make things as crazy as possible. It's all these other teams, but Air Force keeping it close. About to go into halftime here. Yep, up by six for Michigan. There, they're pulling away a little bit. Now a lot of bit. Now a lot, a lot of bit. And a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of bit. <laughs> uh, game 47-10. Not even close. All right, so who would have thought Florida having a home game in the Sweet 16? Yeah, that's right, Florida, home game. 14th seed Florida on their Cinderella run has a home game against the 15th seed Boise State Broncos. Two Cinderella teams, one story has to end and another has to continue. Someone's going to have their miracle run continue on, and they're going to have a date against Michigan in the Elite Eight and it looks like Florida so far is the dominant team. It's a slow-scoring defensive battle, but um, Broncos, I mean, not out of it yet. Down by seven into the fourth quarter here. Going for it on fourth and inches. Going for it. They got it. Into the red zone they go. Want to get on that board with a touchdown. Get this game tied up. It's been a rough slate against Florida's defense, but a touchdown can neutralize things right now. Taylor Green, nowhere to go, out of bounds. One for 11 on third down. Another third down, 37 in the red zone. Watch out, makes a throw, incomplete. They actually go for it and get the first down. I was under the impression they were going to kick their field goal. So I simmed that play. First in goal, Broncos. Down by seven. Taylor Green finds an open man. Six yards and that much closer. Third and goal, aggressive drive. Going for it. Nowhere, out of bounds. Crucial, to say the least. And he did not get it. Florida is going to get the ball. And that looks good for them. They do fumble recovery on a kneel down with no timeouts left. You see that correctly in the chat. You see that correctly. I mean, 44 seconds with no timeouts is like nothing. But how did they fumble on a kneel down to give Boise State some sort of life? But the offense has just had nowhere. Fourth and six. March Madness on the line. Elite 8 on the line. Will the Gators continue their run with a big play here? I think they will. And they get the stop. Gators roll on to the Elite 8. 13-6. Texas, one seed. Going up against Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State's the five seed. Uh, both have been pretty dominant going up to this point. So... Two powerhouses facing each other this March. Texas takes the lead, but Oklahoma State strikes back. Before half, Texas ties it up. 10-10 ball game. 17-10. 17-17. We got another one coming down to the wire. Texas Longhorns are up. They're about to end this game, I would imagine. Fourth and five. Minute 20 for Oklahoma State getting the ball back. What can they do with it? And he 
This might be the game. Oklahoma State needs something here, or else Texas will roll into the Elite Eight. And they do just that. Texas is moving on to the Elite Eight. All right, we got seven seed Utah taking on 14th seed Virginia Tech in a Sweet 16. Virginia Tech, one of the last kind of Cinderella teams remaining. Strikes quick. Utah strikes even faster. This could be a shootout, folks. 14-14 on the board. 17-14 before half. Virginia Tech cashes in with a touchdown and another one. Wow, this team has been playing some inspired football. 28-26-32. Wow. Okay. We got two minutes to go. Let's take it one play at a time. Utah, big play, 33-yard play, up by four. Virginia Tech down to the last two timeouts. Got the outside. That's a first down. That's a touchdown. Tavion, Tavion Thomas just as about ices this game. Utah is going to win. Virginia Tech, though, scored and made it interesting in the end, but 39-36, Utah takes out the Cinderella team, Virginia Tech, 14th seed. All right, one seed, Washington, looks to keep rolling. Texas Tech has gotten here by a few big games over SMU and uh, over Arizona in the beginning. So up 14 zip, 20 zip. They're threatening the one seed early. This Texas Tech team has been a handful for opponents 27 3 34 11 this is the end it looks like for a one seed in the sweet 16 as they cash in again this team looks deadly absolutely deadly let's tune in just for a couple plays but Texas tech is well on their way to an elite eight berth and a massive upset over the one seed washington this is insane Washington could not stop Tech today. And they're just rubbing it in. Going for hurry-up offense. High tempo. Even went up by 23. That is the Red Raiders, folks. This air raid and run raid. <laughs> Too much to handle. So that's going to do it. Washington's going to fall. It's 47-24. Red Raiders moving on. Good old classic Georgia, number two seed versus number three seed Ole Miss. Battling it out. This should be a good game nonetheless, but Georgia and the Dogs got it rolling fast. No offense for Ole Miss. Georgia, there we go. Now it's back to a close game. 13-7. This is a battle. 20-7. 23-7. 13, 10-point game. Can Ole Miss get it close quickly? They will not. They will lose. The clock runs out. 23-13, Georgia advances and will go on to face Texas Tech in the Elite Eight. Two teams still kicking it. Maryland had some upsets on the road. And Miami just been winning their games. Uh, pretty consistent team. But this game is all Miami. 27-0. Maryland in their upset and Cinderella run is definitely coming to an end 34 zip into the fourth 40 to zip Miami absolutely brings the firepower today going to the elite eight as an improbable tale as any you know the 11th seed has made it to the sweet 16 against Oregon who's rocking the two seed you know had a path through James Madison and Oklahoma to get to this point Oregon has beat UCF and Kansas State to get to this point so can UNLV keep the dream alive? Uh, it's going to be tough against the high-powered Ducks, man, as they get up 17-zip, and the UNLV offense is nowhere to be found. They were left in Las Vegas, it looks like, as the Ducks just absolutely obliterate UNLV. Not even close. Uh, so Ducks are going to cruise on into the Elite Eight. That'll do it, 61-9. to nine. Sheesh. All right, folks, Elite Eight is set. We got Michigan, a one seed, still kicking it, versus Florida, the 14th seed on a miraculous Cinderella run. Trying to keep the dream alive. Texas is rolling horns up for now in March. Uh, going up against Utah, the seventh seed. 
always a tough opponent. Texas Tech also having a wonderful 13 seed run to the Elite Eight going up against the Georgia Bulldogs. No easy task there. Miami Hurricanes at the eighth seed making their way down to the Elite Eight going up against the Ducks. Also very tough. So games are getting awfully close. Winners go to the Final Four and one step closer to a natty championship. This is NCAA football March Madness style. Let's jump on back into the Elite Eight. Let's start off with Michigan versus Florida. All right, Michigan, Florida underway. Can Florida keep their Cinderella story alive? Michigan, high-powered offense, already cruising to two touchdowns. Florida gets a, some points on the board. This is a 14-6 battle, 21-6 battle. Florida doesn't want to get out of it just quite yet, but Michigan is too gosh darn good. 42-49-20. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can Florida do anything? They even punted it with the final four on the line. Michigan, 622 yards on the day. 56 to 20, backups in. That is a beatdown if I've ever seen it. Cole Cabana, 6.6 yards per carry, five touchdowns, 230 on the ground. Um, that's a stat line. Backups in, no mercy. Michigan looks poised and ready for the final game of the year. Unbelievable. All right, Texas, Utah. This is a battle like no other. Uh, Texas has been pretty untouchable going up to this point in the Elite Eight. Utah has been giving fits to their opponents as indicative of why they're here in the Elite Eight. Coming in strong with 10 points at the half. 17-10. Oh, my goodness. All right, we're going to go to the fourth with a game on the line. Uh, Utah playing some good football, even though they're being outgained yardage wise. We'll see if Texas can hang in there and uh, tie this game up. Keeper, Ubers. First down. Got a man. Absolutely clocked. Texas driving, got slammed for a sack. Big loss. What will Texas dial up here? Third and 12. Big play. Utah holding on to their seven point lead. Defense needs a stop. Let's a wide open man get through the hole in through the secondary. Touchdown, Casey Kane. This game is just about tied. Got his man, big play. 21 yards to Dixon. Big stakes, a lot on the line. Utah, first and 10, going deep. Picked, out of bounds. Bailed, that's lucky. Handoff, interesting call. Uh, questionable, they don't want what are they doing? Utah wants to go to OT, I guess. I mean, are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> Horrible. OT time. Touchdown, Utah. They just went super fast. So let's jump in here. Utah up by seven. OT. Ewers looking for something. Flicks it. Stuffed fourth down. This is the season on the line. Can they upset the one seed in the Elite Eight? They're playing for all of it right here, right now. One play. The whole tourney has led to this moment. Fourth and two. Hit. Makes the completion though. Texas looking for a touchdown and they get it. First and goal. Keeps it. Touchdown, Ewers and the Longhorns. 
Handoff, nine, touchdown. Utah, extra point away from going to triple overtime. 31-31, all knotted up, triple OT, third down. Utes, fourth down. They're going to get stopped. Field goal unit's going to come out. And he missed it. No good. The simulation says no good. Texas is just about guaranteed to get a win or go to fourth OT. Will he miss it or make it and send the Longhorns to the final four? And he does. They'll have a date with Michigan in the final four. One seed versus one seed. One of them will go on and one will go down. All right, comes down to this. Elite A action, Texas Tech, the 13th seed on a run versus the number two seed, Georgia. Uh, Tech has had a fearsome run, but it doesn't get much more fearsome than this going up against Georgia. So let's see if they have that high-powered offense clicking against the dogs. And so far, it is a battle. 14-10, Georgia. 21-10 right before half. 17-21, though, they're, they're coming back a little bit. But Georgia looks a bit too tough. And I think they're going to come away with this. 31-17. No need to jump in there as there wasn't much of an, uh, of an argument about that. Georgia takes the dub. All right, all right, all right. Oregon, number two, taking on the eight seed Miami. Miami had a nice little run. Oregon's been convincing the whole way through. Can we get some action here today from both teams? It's all tied up. 7-7. Seven, seven. Looks like end of the second. We get both teams scoring a touchdown. Miami's up by 7 over Oregon. 28-14. 35-14. Will Miami walk away with this one? 14-point lead over the Ducks. Ducks have all their timeouts. Hand off here. He's got the edge. He's got some speed. He throws a man down. That determined run. That's a grown man that wants to get to the final four. Miami looks this close to get past the Oregon Ducks. Once you get this first down, it's just about wraps. And there it is. That is all she wrote. Throwing it just because. Why not? Touchdown. Xavier Restrepo. That is a three-touchdown lead. Van Dyke adds to his day. Oregon is out of here. Wow, what an upset. All right, this is what we've been waiting for. The final four is here. It has been nothing short of chaos in March here. March Madness football is upon us, and we have gotten to the good stuff. I know you've been waiting. Oh, you've been praying for my soul.